Let's start it off like we always started off with what's up with that dude. Um, was in the backyard yesterday, uh, had a visitor, an event planner that I've known for over maybe 30 years, at least in the 20s for sure. Uh, my man, Darren Matthews, got to give him love, full name, government name, because uh, he used to throw those parties when I was younger that I heard about and I couldn't get into. <laughs> like, you know, in college and you hear about all those Laker parties and stuff. And then you look up, and uh, Darren Matthews, man, did, did a lot with Shaq, uh, all those kind of cats. And then I could get into those parties. And L.A. had, like, like everything. We always had rivalries. We had West Side, East Side. We had Crip Blood, right? We had Darren Matthews, and then we had Dave and Daryl. <laughs> I mean, and I went with Dave and Daryl because I was in the zone, and um, they were more accessible in the moment when I first met them. And now they blew up. Two, I helped a little bit. Can't lie about that. Um, they boys with Jamie Foxx did all those big Jamie Foxx parties. Dave Brown and Jamie Foxx, super tight, if not best friends. So anyway, Darren came through yesterday, man, and uh, we're doing some of the foundation stuff. And we're looking, obviously, at public parties, but also some private charity parties. So <clears throat> how do you dress up your backyard uh, to entertain your folks, your people? You know, some watch parties. I really, on the Chargers road games, I like to stay at the crib. I don't go to the Rams home games. Got to stay loyal. Um, I'm going to go to one. No, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to that Eagles game. <laughs> All right, got invited. I'm like, yeah, boy. Um, but, you know, throw our foundation parties and just have people walking around having fun, fundation, as I call it, and just chilling, you know, kid friendly. So the kids in the pool, kids up there playing basketball, you know, and then we're going to have some pickleball tournaments. Yeah. Three-point contest, tournaments, yeah. We're going to raise some money, yeah. So Darren came through, helped me uh, envision that, helped me figure out what that looks like. So all love to D. Matthews. Used to run the Century Club, too, or at least be involved with that. And if y'all know L.A. and y'all know the Century Club, that was the apex. That was the biggest dog I think L.A. has ever had. Some would say Greystone or what do they call it now, Nightingale. I don't know about that. I'm telling y'all, boy, I'm talking about when they used to have drink tickets and VIP wristbands. Like, <laughs> it used to be a party and Gino at the door. Ask anybody in L.A. around my age about Gino, they all going to shrink. They're gonna be like, Damn, Gino was hard to get along with to the point where he did his job. And that was the point. Uh, former policeman. So he wasn't scared of nothing. Um, doorman, too. And Gino, when he got on my good side, or I should say I got on his good side, Oh, life changed. <laughs> I rolled up there with all the ladies, all the homies. Oh, Gino, like, got you, Wiley. But you always had to shake his hand with a Benjamin or at least some president, maybe even bigger than that. So love to all that, man. It was a good time. And um, after that, we filmed for my wife, what she's got going on her show. That was love. Um, You know, it's weird still because scandals always occur and then they got to talk about it which makes me feel scandalous right because i'm the husband of somebody who knows people that are in scandals and then we're sitting there talking about it and the way i operate is i talk to the person in the scandal i don't talk around it or talk about it to anybody else to get information and intel and oh how should i approach it matter of fact i get perturbed when people call me about somebody else, I'm like, Don, why don't you just call him? Oh, no, no, I'm just saying. I'm like, that's the most empty phrase in our vocabulary. I'm just saying. Start catching people when they say, I'm just saying. Everybody out there, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. When they say that, pew, shoot their idea down. Make dog chill. So, you know, we sitting there discussing somebody else's problems. I'm like, one, it feels like it's my problem right now. <laughs> and I'm not a fan of that. But two, if there's a direct approach, there's a direct flight to that destination instead of this layover you doing with me. I ain't your layover. So all love, man. We got it in. It was a good time. Um, itty bitties are now just running around. It's vacation mode, so I like them to vacate. You know, I like their minds to just go off in, in the sense of when they're in school, they got to go through a lot. One, kids got to be on their best behavior at school. And if you ever talk to your teachers, you realize your kids are much better in terms of their behavior at school than they are at home. Because at home, they're testing their limits. At home, they're learning. At home, they're just risking everything, <laughs> risking it all, because you're going to catch me. Right, mama? Right, daddy? But at school, oh, man, they on some good behavior relative to their normal behavior. So that's a lot for a kid. Eight, nine months of just being on, being ready and being good, and they're three, four, seven years old. Come on now. 
So when they get off, I let them get off. <laughs> rest that body, rest that brain. So all love right here. Y'all know how we end every show. We end it with a Wiley ism, yeah. All right, <clears throat> learned this one the hard way, like everybody. Being cheap is expensive. <laughs> yeah, being cheap is expensive, man. At least it costs more than being just flat out cheap. You get what you pay for out here. In these streets, in the world, at the store, get what you pay for, right? Man, uh, except at Target. <laughs> Target could be cheap and it's good. Um, but seriously, like being cheap, like you're just like, I know a quality that I desire. Now, maybe you don't have it, right? Or maybe you have it and you choose the lesser, lower quality because you're being cheap, right? Not broke. I'm just saying cheap. You got it and you're trying to get the less of it. Well, guess what you're going to get in return? Less from it. And that's the situation. It's with people. It's with things. It's with everything in this world, right? So imagine you got the energy to do something, but you're going to cheapen out your effort, right? It's going to cost you. <laughs> Being cheap is expensive. When you have it, you don't give it. You don't go get it to that level or even more value. Oh, it's going to cost your way. <laughs> and that's how it goes. So I used to go into stores and be like, man, I ain't buying that. I ain't buying that. Go get a knockoff. I remember I went to Spain years ago and I saw that knockoff section. Now, look, look, I went to school in New York, so I saw that too. I guess, what was that? Uh, Can Canal Street or something or Chelsea Piers, one of them twos. And cheap stuff everywhere. You know, knockoff, everything. Fluey, Fluey Vuitton, Fluey Bouton, right? <laughs> and, and, and Poochie, like all that. And I would buy it. And it wouldn't last as long as when I had $5 and bought the real stuff. Now, I'm not a fan of buying the real stuff now because it just costs too much. It's stupid to me, but I had got out that phase. So I don't condemn anyone still in that phase. But, dog, if you got money, you could wear anything. Nobody care you got on Gucci or not. They ain't tripping. You got money. And when you don't have money, you can wear a Gucci. And somebody's still squinting and kind of double eye rolling, side eyeing you like, eh, the whole Louis suit don't really scream money. <laughs> and even if it does, whatever, do you, man? I'm out of that critical phase of what you're wearing, but I just think people spend way too much money on looking fresh. And then if you look so fresh, you can't wear it again. That's a dumb, <laughs> fashion just missed me. I don't get it. Anyway, don't be cheap, y'all. With your efforts, with the things you do, the people you hang with, Everything. If you got it, give it, right? Because if not, being cheap is expensive. <laughs>